Hello everyone. My name is Saujanya Modunuri. I'm helping with the audiobook Essentials of Democracy written by Dr. Sita Ramam Emani and Ms. Surya Prabha Emani. I'm going to continue reading part 12, Judiciary. Injury by Human Act Accidents Accident is an abrupt deviation in human act resulting in injury to persons and or property. Person responsible for an accident by the deficiency of his essential attention and or skill shall be liable for compensation to the injured but not beyond the total value of his property. If such accidents are repetitive by any person, his right to the act shall be terminated and the officer who approved his efficiency to the act shall be liable for prosecution. If an employee is responsible for an accident in the course of his duty, his employer shall be liable for compensation to the injured. Obviously, the employer shall be responsible for selection of materials and employees for the act and for the intermittent approval of their efficiency. Injury to neighbors Injury to neighbors and or property of neighbors shall be inevitable by certain acts on property. Owner of the property, before executing such acts, must alert the vulnerable neighbors to minimize the injury. Inform full details of the procedure, type and quantum of possible injury and measures likely to minimize injury. Person responsible for such injury shall be liable to restore the property to the quality and standard prior to injury and or for compensation to the satisfaction of the injured neighbor or of the municipal constituency. If the person responsible ignores to alert the vulnerable neighbors, being aware of the risk of such injury, he shall be liable for an additional fine to the municipality equal to the restoration cost and compensation to the victims. Act, acts of Greed Acts of greed include every act of a person repugnant to his constitution with an intention and desire to raise his status and reputation more than deserving. Greed is responsible for very many undesirable human acts which shall destroy the harmony of life and biosystems, exploitation of weaker interpersonal contracts with unequal community norms, adulteration of consumer goods with cheaper and or hazardous materials, fabricated patents and products, with marginal or no added utility value, over production of very slowly degradable materials, over production of goods which are never or seldom used, abuse of natural and human resources, intentional excesses and deficiencies of services, etc. Acts of greed are much more dangerous than terrorism. Only a small territories shall be destroyed or devastated by terrorism for a limited period and all natural resources shall revive and life shall continue in natural course. But the waves of irreversible destruction and devastation spread by acts of greed shall be pandemic and can affect all natural resources, life and biosystems beyond imaginable time frame. Persons promoting terrorism shall not be more than a handful all over the world and persons induced to terrorism shall not be more than few thousands. Whereas, Persons actively involved in acts of greed, if allowed, unhindered, shall be more than 70% of the total population. Hence, the sentence for acts of greed must be severe enough 
not only to discourage greed, but people must be frightened to think of even. Every person responsible for any act of greed must be liable to pay not less than 10 times to the assessed total gains or damages by the act, whichever is higher, as compensation to every victim and an equal amount as fine to the government and also must be liable for rigorous imprisonment for a term pr propor proportionate to the grade of greed which shall not be less than three months. Acts of Terrorism Terrorist attack includes every act leading to pre-planned massive attack against life and or property in a target territory and terrorists include all the persons responsible for those acts. Acts which are not repugnant to this constitution shall be repugnant by being part of the terrorist attack and persons facilitating such acts being aware of the intention shall be part of the terrorist team. Historically, some rural rulers applied terrorism to satisfy greed and power against rebels struggling for basic needs due to discrimination or other reasons. And the fact terrorism can never be productive nor an apt tool for any problem was established with certainty. Terrorism is clandestine activity by necessity. Every person domiciled in a territory shall have to seek and aid to seek details of suspicious persons and acts and present the information to the local police for further monitoring, timely preventive action and security. Persons initiating and organizing terrorist attack must be sentenced to death or killed by police if situation demands. Death sentence for these persons is not a punishment but a measure to prevent and terminate terrorism. Other participants of the team who are induced to terrorism are usually young and adolescent. They shall be sentenced to rigorous imprisonment, a detailed study of this constitution, counseling and the education of their choice and the punishments shall continue until they shall be approved safe to contribute for the harmony of the territory and the nation. Acts of Ignorance, Impulse and Habit These acts may cause minor injuries to persons and or property usually and rarely the injury may be severe enough to cause death of persons and or destruction or theft of property of substantial value. Acts of ignorance are by children and rarely by persons attending the act without proper training, skill and knowledge. Acts of impulse of children and adolescents and of few persons with psychic problems shall be sudden, instantaneous, usually on provocation without consideration to the consequences. Act of impulse on internal provocation in children and adolescents may rarely continue into adult life as act of habit and behavior. Children are raw material when born and learn by Im imitation. Major part of personality and attitude development shall be complete during preschool days by imitation of parents, relatives and other close associates. Parents with their ex exemplary lifestyle must guide and correct the children in time to share but not to compete to, have, to be happy with historical tales of ethics and morals. Parents are responsible for the acts of children till they complete four years of age and shall be liable for damages due to their acts and a fine payable to the government equal to damages. If the damaging acts are repetitive, one of the parents more close to the child shall be liable for imprisonment for a term of one week. 
This punishment shall motivate parents to spare sufficient time for grooming children and the children shall understand the pain of missing the kin. Adolescents tend to undesirable, do undesirable acts for two main reasons. Primarily, lack of interest in the education imposed on them. Hence, education and schools must be limited to essential basics and must train the children to recognize and pursue his optimal interest for higher education. Children must be trained to understand the practical importance of each part of the curriculum in life, importance of aptitude, talent, and skill, and priority for happiness over excess money. And the second reason for their illicit options is lack of guidance and direction to spend their extra energy. Children must be encouraged, trained, and guided to sharpen their skills in extracurricular activities like sports and arts. They may be allowed to organize functions and meetings of all kinds under supervision in the municipal constituency and municipality. When the parents fail to induce proper culture and positive attitude, children shall be sent to residential centers established by the government for personality and attitude development and the total expenses may be payable by the parents. The adolescents shall be admitted in the residential institutions where the curriculum includes a detailed study of this constitution, counseling and the education and hobbies of their choice to develop optimal skills, attitude and culture to contribute for the harmony of the territory and the nation. Acts repugnant to this constitution may continue in very few adolescents and adults as acts of impulse and or habit. Movements of such persons must be monitored by the local people and police. And the police may command them to take prayer permission for their travel schedule and purpose and may alert the police in those territories. Law of the Land This constitution is a law of the land and this is the only law. Every act repugnant to this constitution and every act in a series of acts whose intention is repugnant to this constitution are crimes and punishable offenses. Prevention of crime and providing justice and relief to the victim sooner by any all possible means must be the first priority. Police and the judiciary alone cannot fulfill that task. People of the nation and persons working for all government faculties shall have to actively participate to protect the law of the land and provide justice to every person even when the victim ignores to call for. Prevention of crime. All contracts and agreements shall be by agreement with the predetermined norms and may be valid only after approval by the relevant municipalities or states or the nation, as the case may be, to prevent exploitation of the weaker parties. Operational skills and abilities of people may have to be approved before they are allowed to utilize their property and regulatory monitoring and timely action may be continued by the government to prevent possible damage. Role of public and government faculties. Pity disputes may be com compromised by the parties in the municipal constituency meetings to the satisfaction of the parties and the people. Disputes related to fixed assets and things of high value shall be decided by the relevant government faculties by agreement with the registered facts of ownership title. Police shall investigate the sequence of facts where conversion of property is possible and suspected. Parties shall have the first right to present their dispute related facts and evidence or they can take help of an advocate or any other person by trust. Any person can contribute facts related to the dispute in the municipal constituency meeting and or in the court of law. 
Courts may instruct the police to investigate specific issues, to exclude all probabilities and to es establish a single sequence of events relevant to the dispute or crime. All disputes must be decided on facts only to the satisfaction of the parties and the people of the relevant municipalities or states or the nation as the case may be. Apex Court of People the highest order of all the courts is the apex court of the people. After presenting all the facts of the dispute and the evidence thereof by mass media, the parties to the dispute shall be permitted to present their dispute and claim. Then the people shall be allowed to contribute any further evidence relevant to the dispute. And the final judgment is by the majority vote of the people of the relevant jurisdiction. Municipal constituencies, municipalities, states, or the nation, as the case may be. Justice is what is ac acceptable for the people. What is acceptable for all or majority of the people is more justified, justice which cannot be negated by any law. All the citizens shall have to study the constitution as a subject of their curriculum and the people in addition shall tend to decide the dispute by community norms which shall be on par with the principles of natural justice. No other law can assure a better justice in any dispute. Even the law courts of highest order in many countries fail to satisfy the people and the judiciary with their judgment in many disputes. Expectations By agreement with this constitution, people of the nation hopefully abide by the law of the land sooner and develop an apt attitude, that is, control greed and enjoy deserving status, develop courage to admit or proclaim facts, highlight justice and welfare of the people without prejudice, Maintain cordial relations by liberal excuses for inevitable minor injuries and promote harmony of the territory and of the nation with lowest crime rate. Thank you.